Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Tyler, I'm a cybersecurity engineer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a virtual machine using VirtualBox. We're going to open up VirtualBox right here. We are going to click on new. We're going to give the virtual machine a name. Now this is just for VirtualBox right here, so I'm going to name it Windows 10, since we are installing Windows 10 Enterprise, um, everything looks correct. We're going to go ahead and click on continue. I'm going to give it four gigabytes of RAM. We're going to create a new virtual hard disk. We can just hit continue, continue, okay create okay so next step here is we need to go into settings we need to go to storage we need to click on this uh, optical drive here and click on that little icon and we're going to click on our ISO now if you don't see your ISO right here just go ahead and click on choose a disk file and then wherever you have it saved at I have it in my downloads folder here We'll click on OK. And then all you have to do is go ahead and hit start. Um, we're going to switch this, make sure this is your ISO. Hit start. OK, so Windows 10 is going to boot up, and then it's going to have you go ahead and install it. So hit next, hit install now. This will take a little while, so we'll pause the video and we'll come back to this when it's done. Okay, and we're back. So now you have a full-fledged Windows 10 box. Now, one thing you may notice is if you try to expand the window to make it bigger, you're going to get these gray bars here. So how you fix that is you have to install some extra uh, software here. So if you go up to your taskbar, find devices, go down to insert guest editions, click on that. And then what you'll do is you'll go into the Explorer, this PC, and you'll see the software right here. So just go ahead and double click on that and go ahead and double click on this one, not the x86, not the 64, just click on this one. Hit yes. Next, next, install. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to expand the window and uh, it'll resize appropriately. It does some other things as well. Now you can go ahead and drag this window and it'll resize, or it should. It's a little bit buggy, but there we go. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Now you may want to do things like um, copy and paste between your host machine and your virtual machine. You can do that by going into devices and going down to, so drag and drop, so you can just literally drag something from the host machine onto your virtual machine or vice versa. Uh, shared clipboard, that's the copy and paste. Now I've noticed that these two don't always seem to work. Um, so the easiest thing to really do is just go and create a shared folder. So you'll click on shared folders, shared folder settings. All right, you'll click on add right here. And then it's gonna ask for a folder path. So I'm going to use my downloads. And then I'll make it read only, auto mount, okay, okay. So what this does is now I can go into the folder, this PC, and as you can see, I have this network location now. I didn't have this before. So now anything that's in my downloads folder on my Mac, for example, this ISO file, I can interact with. 